Dear Argon the Element, In sixth grade, we're learning about elements, and I thought maybe you could help me by telling me about yourself, since you are an element. Thanks, Josh. Well, Josh, thanks for writing to me, but please, call me AR, because that's my chemical symbol. In case you don't know, a chemical symbol is the initials of the element's name. Since my name is Argon, my initials are capital A, lowercase r. Now, if you look at a periodic table, you can see that my atomic number is 18. The definition for atomic number is the number of protons in an atom, which means there are 18 protons in me. The protons are located in the center of me, in my nucleus. Since there are 18 protons, there has to be 18 electrons because you have to balance out the charges. In case you are confused, protons are positive charged particles, while electrons are negative charged particles. Electrons are located in the outer part of me, in my electron cloud. My electrons are placed in a certain way. You see, there's a rule yet to follow. The first ring, or energy level, can hold two electrons. The rest of them can hold eight. So, if we do the math correctly, my first energy level can hold two electrons, my second energy level can hold eight electrons, and my third can hold eight. Now, there is still one thing missing. The neutrons. The way you find the number of neutrons in me is by taking my atomic mass, the average mass of all the different forms of me, and round it to the nearest whole number. Once that's been done, you have my mass number. You now have to subtract my mass number, 40, by the number of protons in me, 18, to get the total number of 22, which would be the neutrons in me. Neutrons are located in my nucleus. Well, that's about it. It's that easy to learn about elements. All it takes is determination. Oh, and a little help from the teacher, of course.